Yes, indeed. Welcome back to another edition of The Gentleman's Den. How y'all doing? Come in, grab your glass of Cavassier, grab a seat, sit down and listen to an hour of intellectually stimulating conversation. How you doing? My name's Sean. To my left, as always, is Frankie. And to my right is Jeff. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? Mm. I feel fine. My name's Jeff. We've established your name. I know. This is episode nine, sir. Is it really? Episode nine. One away from double digits. Nueve? What'd you say? I don't know. Is that nine? Nueve? No. (laughs) 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 Isn't it? Yeah, it is. (laughs) Ocho nueve diez. Yeah. See? I can count. Yeah, you can can count. count. I need meeting you in the parking lot. Oh, bro. Let me tell you about the greatest purchase I ever made. So today, lots of flies roaming around the gentleman's den. I start Googling, looking for a a bug of salt. (laughs) Oh, and I bought one. I don't know if it was the best or worst $40 I ever spent. (laughs) It's it's basically a Nerf gun that shoots salt instead of Nerf balls. Yeah, so you load this thing with salt, and it just shoots like a nice stream of salt out, and it fucking neutralizes. It neutralizes these flies. Yeah, you've been hunting I've all been hunting day. All day. So, I mean, I guess it was worth the 40 bucks, right? <laughs> He's already got the laser sight coming in the mail and the scope. Yeah, you can't put a price on fun. You really can't. I mean, this thing is not a sponsor, but this is a great product. <laughs> I'm having a blast with this thing today, just hunting flies. <laughs> He's a, the only problem is there's salt all over your house. I after can taste it. Using That's it. fine. Anytime someone needs a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking right there, killing flies and making making margaritas. Making there. margaritas. Oh man, hey, I, you got any salt? I need some for this burger. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You could probably put seasoning in it. Oh yeah, little, little salt, little pepper. You can hit them burgers from just a shotgun on the burgers from twenty feet away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how good the pepper is gonna fly. The salt will probably fly better. Maybe it sticks to the salt. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it Combine compresses so hard. I mean, what the fuck, man? This mm. thing's great. Maybe I love it, though. Maybe we should just use Lowry's next time. He literally has the a sitting next salt. to him. What? The season salt? This is Morton's salt. This is legit. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, it's the This is the expensive salt. shit. <laughs> I don't know why you bought that. You could have bought the cheap shit. doesn't matter. I knew, that, I knew that this expensive salt was going to get it done. By that cheap shit, they'd probably just get up. <laughs> Shake it <laughs> Be off. like, bitch. <laughs> You should have got the good shit. <laughs> the first couple did shake it off. <laughs> yeah, those were some big, strong flies. Yeah, I was just They're juicing gun, on man. the juice for sure. Bug of salt player. Shit. You're like a little kid. So uh, did you guys read the, uh, did we talk about this already? About the meth gators? Yeah. Meth gators. Yeah, that was talked about. Mm-hmm. The meth gators from the fl- Florida. Yeah, if you flush your to- shit down the toilet. No Don't one's flushing flush their drug. stash. Yeah. Down the toilet. Because them gators. Meth gators. <laughs> gators on another level. So. Got your bug assault. And your gator assault. My buddy's a exterminator. And I told him, I go, now's the time to release deer and country thunder. Now's the time to release those fucking raccoons you have been feeding meth for three <laughs> weeks. <laughs> Someone just released the fucking uh, gator in uh, Chicago. Oh, they chanced, chanced the snapper? Yeah, they yeah. caught him. Yeah, it's a snapper. <laughs> they they caught him, and he's liter- It's literally like a three foot long, very small gator. It's a little guy. Still, it's funny how these people buy these fucking gators, and then they get too big, and they're like, "Oh shit!" Well, fucking just let it see go. You later, okay. <laughs> alligator. Did that one go down the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 pretty much people that buy exotic pets. Period. Yeah, it's like your neighbor had a bunch of fucking snakes. Yeah. No. Yeah. That tons of them. I wasn't going over there i remember i knew a guy that had a snake it was so big it had the entire bedroom and he said he had to get rid of it because every time he opened the door it would strike because it knew that it was getting fed basically this thing was huge like 13 what about feet the, what about the world's biggest snake whatever happened with that holy shit wasn't that from the mall yeah so it was at the mall and Journey mills it was the largest snake in the world it was actually used for the movie anaconda 
and uh so no that was my wiener <laughs> <laughs> my wiener killed john voight <laughs> They, uh, but like a couple of guys I knew, they worked there, and I guess, I guess that snake died, and uh, he called the owner and he's like, "Hey, man, he's like this, you know, your thing ain't fucking moving. thing's dead." <laughs> he's like, "I don't know what to do," and he's like, he didn't want anyone to really know that it was, you know, that's an attraction. Like, you want people to come see. He had other ones that were huge, just as, as right, big so almost. Right, so you just bait and switch. Yeah, so he just, you know, we're gonna move down the line, put this in the bigger tank, and. uh they ended up having to like go through all this shit. They like he wanted to keep the head, and they fucking <laughs> they had to get rid of the body, so they put it in a bunch of Tupperware and took it up north and dumped it out of their truck into some <laughs> fucking field. You you mean rubber maids? I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. They're not they're not like going to going to in the sandwich section and be like, yeah, oh no. yeah, those little <laughs> sandwich boxes. Can I get some of those? I need like 600 of these sandwich boxes. You might no, cut yeah, this up on that hand big you got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no bones in it. It's a snake. Just come on. Well, you're thinking probably like a thousand pounds of snake is in these things and they threw it out there and I guess like coyotes ripped it open and were eating it and shit. These <laughs> owners came to the land and found it. They were like, what the fuck are these people doing on the property? They were like prosecuted, went to like court and all this shit. It was crazy. I couldn't imagine fucking carrying a bunch of snake meat, putting it in a bin. So yeah, I'm out. Dump it. I'm out. Did you see the uh, guy that was pulled away to get eaten by bears and they kept him alive? He stayed alive by drinking his own urine for like three months. What the fuck? Yeah. I mean, you got to do what you got to do to live. Pulled away by bears? Yeah. yeah. Or they hold him hostage? <laughs> yeah, they were saving him for winter. Give us the honey or this guy's dead. <laughs> But I don't know if you know this. <laughs> we know you got it. <laughs> when when bears when bears attack and they eat an animal, they usually eat it asshole first. You're just filled with great useless knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Bears go asshole. It's like every one of Frankie's dates. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know at the para? ATM, bro, you never go ATM. Never. The- don't tell bears that. <laughs> they go right to the ass. <laughs> Man, that'd be fucking crazy. Speaking of the bears, ooh, they start training camp. I can't wait. Oh, Fantasy football's, football's coming, coming around. Right around the corner, I bears. can't wait. Fourth pick in the draft. Yeah, we got that draft, fantasy football draft together. Mm. We, we, I, I co-captain his team. He's, he's president. I'm VP. They were known as the Brady Bunch, but now we got to figure <laughs> a new team. <laughs> that was an awesome name. There's some fucking great fantasy football names. So funny. Mike Vick in a box. <laughs> <laughs> what are some other ones? It's like a Gronky Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was a Gronkopolis now. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I wish I could think of some more right off the top of my head, but. Right, you need you need a little bit. I love that show, The League. That was one of the funniest fucking oh, shows. What a great show. I cannot wait for <laughs> fantasy football season and football and Chalupa gambling. Chalupa Batman. <sighs> Chalupa Batman. <laughs> Chalupa Batman. <laughs> Baby, I'm for sure Taco. Baby Jeffrey. Chalupa Batman. And you're not Taco. Baby Jeffrey. No. Forever you were. You were for sure not Taco. You're more the the bald headed guy. It's cool. I wish I had a lot of money and was rich like that. Yeah, and wearing fucking the worst clothes in You're like history. a boyfriend chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played fantasy football. I feel like uh, my man card should be taken away. Right. I, I've never I just, played. I well, just you said this really year you're going to try, right? Maybe. I like watching. I just like enjoying football. I feel like it would kind of take away no, from it. because it, it actually be adds to it. No, it, it. It pisses you off. See? It's one of those ones where you got a wide receiver, you're losing by one point, you're it's in a PPR to be, league. Like Throw watching, the ball. watching football is and supposed to be drops like my, it. Es- my escape. I mean, it is, but at the just same my, time. Just my relaxation time. It's nice a mo- pizza and it's entertainment. And it's beer and just it's enjoyable. And enjoy it's it. a Monday night. There's a meaningless game on, except you got a wide receiver going, and you're right. and you're down by five points. You're like, I got this locked up. And then in the <laughs> in the first quarter, he catches a pass and pulls a hamstring, and he's done for the game, no. and you lose by point two. Fucking oh, way, Jesus Christ! But no, that's what's fun—the ups and downs. You never know. It's exciting. It's you know, it's 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 enjoyable to me. I know, even if I don't win. I've won some championships, but 
I've lost them too, and it's just enjoyable to play for the whole year. Exciting watching bullshit. How much teams pussy and, did those championships get you? Oh, just wondering. <laughs> all the pussy. I, I would probably put in my my entire dating career was all because of fantasy football. They were like, if that was true, you'd have. <laughs> I, I was a first year champion. I came out the gate hot and, and hasn't won shit since. No, I've won another one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just another one, you know. Yeah, I manage a football team. Oh, little league. Fantasy. Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the other day Mobile we were. Reference. You guys were hanging out and um, it got late as hell. Frankie's like, I got a shower. I'm like, what well, shower? It's fucking eight o'clock. I've been playing basketball all day. <laughs> well, like outside? <laughs> no, online. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my it. hand, my hands have been so <laughs> sweaty. <laughs> my thumbs are so <laughs> as fuck. I'll put a fucking fifty-six points, bro. I mean, Shot for like eleven threes. I'm, a, I'm wow. in an ice bath right now with just my thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> right, those joysticks. Mom, get the bucket with the ice. Fuck. <laughs> oh, bring me the, bring me that tiger balm. <laughs> Where's the icy hot, bro? I like icy hot. I haven't gone down a. Oh man, I used to be so addicted to like Madden video games. Love them, still do. Yep. You still got time. Yeah, I still got time. Well, I don't want to. Don't have time. I, I, I well, I don't really have time to play them, <laughs> but I I kind of want to keep up. You know, like I want to be able to play like video games with the kids. I don't want to be like the old guy that can't play. Yeah, anymore. the old guy that's what like, the fuck's going what's on? this? Where's the A button? You know? How do you how do you move forward? Like my grandma with a with a smartphone. Like how the fuck do you work this? I don't want to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think everyone gets to that point though. Well, yeah, I don't know how do. to use a fucking I don't know computer how to use and shit. Twitter. And, yeah, like I don't. <laughs> fuck technology. Pound sign what? Like how do you even pound sign something? Hey, silent your phone there, guy. Oh. Was it going off? Oh, I just you. heard a chirp. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Speak, speaking speaking no of technology. Etiquette. Speaking of technology, show your goddamn phone off. Turn it off. That you're a professional. I check mine now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. See. So I I read this other thing uh, about. I didn't know you knew how to read. Would you teach me the letters? Once again, I cannot wait till we get ad reads because that's on <laughs> you. We're gonna make them in big words and everything's gonna be brought down. No, no, okay, that's fine. You can send us an ad, but it has to be written like the cat in a hat. It's gotta be. Like, <laughs> yeah. No longer than four letter words and it has to rhyme. Look at Jane. <laughs> Watch Jane run. <laughs> shit like that. Fucking yeah, I like like shit. three word sentences. I could handle those. Yeah, that's fine. I, I just want to hear the monotone. And this product would be great for your home. I'm or a fantastic reader. You stop it right now. Off 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 hip 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 hop. Hip hop anonymous. anonymous. You keep it by the easy one. Damn you. So on the video game thing, I mean, what was your favorite like game growing up? <sighs> I mean, hands down, mine, Goldeneye. Yeah. Goldeneye. That Sky probably had to be it. Game of all time. See, mine. I always played sports games, like Deion Sanders primetime football. Oh yeah. Yeah no, I got I like Madden's like one of my too, favorite things too, but. I actually do like like old school old school games like Excite Bike and Mario and shit, shit like that. I, Mike Tyson Punch Out. That's still some of the greatest. Oh yeah, and you had to leave your system on for fucking. There's no <laughs> memory card. You had to leave your system on. It was red hot. Your oh system yeah, you had to be on for a you, week you straight. You could cook eggs on the back of it, right? <laughs> Fuck, we got to leave this on. Like, you'd stay up all night and go to school. Your system's on all day for when you got home from school. You could continue where you were. Just yeah. don't touch it. You burn your hand. Yeah. Fuck Zelda. It. Can't burn your fingers while you're gaming. You know what I mean? But it's I like, miss, like, all these new games now. Like, you don't, like, unlock shit. Yeah, you unlock certain shit. Yeah, if but, you like, buy it. It's all right? money. Like, you used to play the game, and you would unlock tiers, unlock guns, unlock cars. I can't now wait till there's, like, like gambling. Oh, fuck, you see this thing? It's like a fucking... DeLorean for this car game. Like, oh, yeah, five bucks, Buster. <laughs> five dollars, <laughs> Buster. What? I got to pay five bucks for this fucking car? You already bought the game. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, why you think they put Fortnite out there for free? So you buy all this stuff. Man. Just like the, Rocket League. The twins are in deep on yeah. that Fortnite. Woo. See, I've never tried that. I don't like Fortnite. I don't I'm like out. the building. I just, I like, just like a regular like Call of Duty. Right. More realistic. Because I got some guy... Pr- 
Probably because I suck at it. That's why I don't like it. I got this guy in my sight. Pop, 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 pop. I'm fucking blowing him up. All of a sudden, he builds this fucking cathedral, <laughs> and he's up on top of it, jumping off, sniping, and then I end up dying. I'm like, fuck this game. Take well, your cake. Take your controller back. Well, that was why I always <laughs> loved playing, you know, duty and shit with you guys because I was just a human bullet shield. Yeah, they're around the corner. <laughs> yeah, send them out. No, I was too because I always I didn't last very long. So like, if you got two kills, you got a spy plane. So basically, I was like the spy plane guy. <laughs> 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 I'd get two kills quick and then die, but I'd have the spy plane. So get all my bird. other teammates who were good knew where everybody was. <laughs> And they're like, God, Jeff. Jeff's the fucking. You're the He's real MVP. Coming through. You're yeah, the real, real MVP. <laughs> <laughs> coming through in the clutch. Well, that was like playing that uh, siege game. Oh, dude, don't get me started on Rainbow Six and sieges and every shit time like I, that. I love that. Every time I'd go in, I'd be the first guy in the room get shot. I'm like, all right, guy in the left <laughs> corner, guy in the right corner. I can't wait though until they introduce gambling with video gaming, like that you could bet on. Certain things and it's it's all sanctioned. It's like a like, buy-in, yeah. Yeah, like it, you, the money gets distributed by a certain source, and godparents' credit cards are gonna be maxed. <sighs> oh, ruined! But can you imagine like a hundred people jumping a game? Like even like you could bet on bet on people. So like if you think this guy's gonna win this tournament, you could put a hundred bucks on him. If it, you know it's two to See, one, that'd be great. Whatever. Like I like I like the idea of those games. I'm not very good at them, but like PUBG, like the free for all style. Yeah. Like, so yeah, it'd be fun. cool if you could, like, bet on a guy. Like, this guy, like, someone could bet on me because I'm trash. Right. It'd be, like, 100 to 1. And somehow you, know? you just, like, hide in a bush <laughs> and come out at the end and kill, get the last kill and win. Yeah, right. Get some fucking wow. random shit. What, what the fuck was that? That's uh, Mr. Don't, Professional no, himself. Don't is that your, he's got this fucking they won't, fancy ass. They won't hear that on the podcast. Watch like, on. coming through the computer. Oh, he's right. got some watch to communicate with his car outside. Boop, 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 doo, 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 doo. I call Kit. Kit. Get your ass over here. Coming, Sean. <laughs> Jizz. <laughs> I shit my pants. I need you to come here. I can't. Uh, I got a duck walk out to the car. Wouldn't that be funny if you had a car and it like just like talk, it was like a real person like talk shit to you like we do it to each other. Like you come coming home from the bar, <laughs> Kit, pick me up. Oh, what well, comes you, and scoops you up. Well, oh, you, another fatty again. Yeah, I, sure. that's what I was just gonna say. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Though. Shut up, Kit. <laughs> oh, my, mind your business. He's slamming on the brakes as you're falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fuck off, Kit. God, I hate this fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> your attitude is shit. That's I'm not watching thing. you for a month, you the bastard. <laughs> Google and like Alexa is gonna be in the cars next. Oh, actually, you know what? It already is. I'm oh, just, it is. I'm just going to park BMWs. How stall. about that new Corvette, though? Bro. Dude. Right. Fucking oh, right. baller, about it. dude. Talked about it on the last podcast. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, we didn't talk about it in the last one. We talked about it on the one that we started at 9 o'clock. All I'm going to say is the white one and the gray one are sick as fuck. It's pretty I, 60, dope. 000. I was pretty skeptical. I, I, the only, I've never liked Corvettes. The only one I liked was the last one they came out with, the C7. So this one's the C8 mid-engine. This thing looks like a fucking Lamborghini. Yeah, it's dope as fuck. For 60 k 60 grand. No, I'll tell you what, though. If you were to put that in front of me and a Hellcat, challenger i probably would take the hellcat really yeah i love that old school the lines of that body is sexy especially it's probably if it, the, out of all the cars that they like brought back you know it's the dopest it's one for the sure coolest. it's the one that looks most like the original right yeah it's so sick and have you ever seen one with the wide body kit on it that's what i wish they were Dude. yeah it looks insane. If they insane. came stock with the wide body, that'd be fucking sweet. We sold one at the dealership I was working at for. Um, so, so this guy comes in and buys one. He wanted a. De- it was a new demon, and they were only building so many of them. He came and I think they were going for like ninety, and we had it up for like a hundred and ten thousand. And this guy came and bought it for a hundred and ten, put it on a trailer, drove it to a car show that weekend or that day in Milwaukee. And he sold it for two hundred and fifty thousand oh, dollars. Now that's called a come up. Right. Well, that was just like they just sold the first two Supras off the line. Right. Yeah, like the how first much Supra went for two million dollars. See, that's what I mean. That's fucking insane. That's so much money. Yeah, but you think though, because it was kind of like a charity deal, that's probably some sort of tax write-off, right? Oh, hundred percent. For be. some for some billionaire, yeah. 
that's fucking. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I mean, t- dude, if you got the money, whatever, two million for the first super. But if you want something, what's the horsepower on that new uh, Corvette? Four ninety. See, now that's dope. Four ninety. It's still good. Mid, you know, mid engine. It's dope as fuck looking. But you could it's have seven hundred on that Challenger, and if you had a Demon, it's a thousand factory car. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, but I don't even know what to do with that. I know a seven hundred horse. I would I was be too like much. super into drag racing and shit. I'd probably get it, but. But like, see, like you said, do they make that in a manual? No. The no. Corvette, no. They no. don't make manuals. Even the new Supra that just Dude, came that's out is crazy. It's so, it's so much fun f- banging the gears, but at the same time, yeah, you do lose time in an actual race and being it's fast. Just faster. And, yeah. Like, but you, but miss, don't you have I miss fun? the fucking banging gears. Right, 100%. dumping the clutch, you know. Like, but I truck drive all day. So I was. <laughs> I'm shifting seven <laughs> times, seven times before I get to fucking thirty miles per hour. I was looking at trucks. I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll buy a new truck. And then I'm like, yeah, but I want it stick. And the only company I could find a manual transmission pickup truck in was the. TRD Toyota Race Development Team Off Road Edition, fucking Tacoma that costs seventy eight thousand dollars. Oh Jesus! Two thousand three, brand new two thousand three, <laughs> Tacoma. But the new vet, what kind of what kind of shoes? What kind of shoes do you buy for a mid engine Corvette? I mean the other ones. I mean it's New Balance all the way. Dude, shoes, I'm all about. Bro, I'm talking Oof, fucking. I, I think Felis. jean shorts. Felis. 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 I think it's Skechers, bro. You got to step Skechers. up. Skechers. It's like a step up from New Balance. Oh, maybe someone has the hookup on old school British Knights. Oh, the BKs, bro. The BKs. Bringing it back. Bringing it way back. Or the LA Lights. Oh. I used to like black tops. You remember black top shoes? Black tops. Hey, you remember when you had those Jordans and we uh, had to go to the beach when we were kids? No, and those are the Scotty Pippins. The airs? Yeah, it's that air, air on the side. Yeah. And we went to uh, the beach, and we tried walking through the parking lot barefoot, and it was like a fucking million degrees, and it was burning hot. We couldn't even walk to the beach on that. We had to bring our shoes. Yeah, they got stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Someone stole my fucking Nikes at the beach. Who fucking does that? Was that a? In, in, it was in, in our own. Oh, in Racine. <laughs> yeah, well, we not were surprising. Kids. Oh, that I want. I just want to mention this because it's fucking hilarious. But we were talking about Area Fifty One, and someone wrote on Facebook. Here's what uh, Wisconsinites that go to f- Area 51 say. So are we tailgating before this or what? <laughs> True. I mean, if I was. It's, right. That's that's, I, that's the Wisconsin way. If I'm going tailgating. there and hanging out, yeah, that's, some dude from Wisconsin is going to have a Like when's the pre-party start? Like bratwurst on it. It's re- the, the way I see it is this. I'm going to need to be a little fucked up to go try and run into my ultimate death. Yeah. No, for sure. Don't drink the punch, guys. We know when they like brought no, Woodstock back, and everybody was so pissed off because they were charging like ten bucks for fucking water and shit. So I'm just gonna go to Area 51. Twenty bucks for the water. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Gauze and fucking water. Tony, bro, first aid, first aid tents going up. Supply and demand, bro. You corner the market. I'm cornering it right. You know now. what? You know what that reminds me of being a, a, a risk taker, a real entrepreneur, like, like good old fucking. Butch Dixon. Yeah. You're going to send a fucking RPG right at my fucking <laughs> tent. Right at my kiosk. <laughs> I got a kiosk in the middle of the desert. Oh. I'm like, fuck, man. I really didn't think this through. There's no electrical outlets out here. <laughs> this generator's causing <laughs> this a lot of sound. Generators, yeah. <laughs> fuck, they know my position. Plus, if they got heat seekers, they can zone right into that generator. See, That's a lot of extension cords to keep that generator <laughs> in your place. <laughs> Well, if you got all those people there, everyone needs. That's what everyone's bringing one extension cord. Yeah, but then the yeah, uh, let everyone know. Anyone's going, extension cords. Yeah, then you have one must. asshole trip over it, unplug it, shuts <laughs> everything the fuck down. The party, the party will continue though. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think a live gentleman's den podcast from, <laughs> from <laughs> Area Fifty One. All right, let's all take off work hilarious. and make it happen. No, I'm you know I'm excited for going to. Uh, Elk Heart Lake. Yeah. It's going to be a good time for the custom bike show. It's going to, uh, it always is a Heading good time. Heading up to Elk Heart Lake to Road America. It's going to be uh, vintage motorcycles. 
We're bringing. Uh, I'm bringing the Grom. Ooh. We're gonna have dirt bikes, four wheelers, scooters. Wheelies. We're gonna be ripping wheelies and drinking PBRs all fucking weekend. Boys. It really is just so much fun because you, you you get a big ass area. You just jam music. Got that you know the sound box that which is like the greatest purchase ever. Yeah. Plus you go up there, you camp. There's cool bars around the area. Right. And then you go to the, this track is it's not like a drag strip or like a. Oh, it's a road regular, course. No, yeah. It, this it's track's fucking huge. huge. So you have to have like a dirt bike or four-wheeler. Right. To, to drive across, to it takes 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Like, it's it's fun as fuck, though, going and just sitting in the, the big open fields, ripping wheelies, drinking, doing shotguns, beer bongs. Shot, I mean, you I'm drink like two handles. I'm bringing the bug assault, too, because. Yeah, bug assault will those, be there in full effect. In case those flies start fucking around. <laughs> I got something for him. <laughs> oh man, you got wasps and shit too. I mean, I mean, it's all it's all going down. No, it's it's a blast. Like you said though, and you still get to you know camp, go into town, go to all the bars, and they got the you know they got a big ass bar and restaurant. They got the stunt bike show, which is always fucking awesome. They got the big flea market. You find a bunch of you know cool shit. And Hell yeah. Then they, <clears throat> what did they have last year? Arm wrestling competitions. They had something fucking weird going on. <laughs> like, I was fucked up. Did they have the it was probably just a redneck set up a tent. Said, Arm wrestling. <laughs> Let's go. I want you. He's just out there just crushing. <laughs> He's got a machine. I call people yeah, it, It's a fucking Gallagher type deal going on out there. Some, some dude smashing melons with his fucking hammer. But <laughs> my favorite part though is just camping that and getting like up early and starting to drink. So <laughs> portos get started. <laughs> Got Big melons? Bertha's crushing watermelons with her thighs. Whew. That's still impressive to me when those fucking monster broads just crush a watermelon. Yeah, like have that. you ever done it? No, dog. So then how do you know it's not easy? I said it's impressive. I don't know. Very you think you could crush a watermelon with your thighs? No fucking way. Not me. I got yeah, no see, muscle. See, it's impressive as fuck. It's all fat now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's that's And it's all interior thigh strength, so you're... Your adductors and your what, what groin that, muscles. Uh, what, what was that workout machine back in the day? The, the thigh master. The thigh master. <laughs> Suzanne Summers, right? Fucking A, right? God she wants to have one of those laying around. Google it, guys. <laughs> See, that was our porno back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Infomercials at like 6 a.m. What else were masters. awesome commercial back in the day? The Dust Busters? They never fucking worried. The Clapper. Well, I showed I showed you the video the other day about okay so everyone thinks there's this thing called white privilege just just watch a collection of infomercials with these white people just struggling <laughs> struggling so hard they my can't favorite. even open the Tupperware they're like oh my hand it's like, oh. <laughs> my favorite one is the guy in the fucking recliner with the thing of popcorn and, and he's, he's trying and he to just, reach the and he remote. launches the popcorn out the window <laughs> no they're Breaks so the dramatic glass. they're it's hilarious so dramatic. white people problems just but you never see anybody else like in those commercials there's not a a, a, a black fa- family in the bleachers wearing snuggies right no they, they got enough sense not to wear this shit out in public right only no. these fucking it's cold i'm gonna put people. a coat on yeah i'm gonna wear a coat not this fucking snuggie i look like i'm in a cult <laughs> Well, my f- or they can't pour a gallon of milk. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm just now on. with new easy pour, yeah. it's so easy. Because pouring milk's fucking hard. Well, I'm telling about, you, bro, white about, privilege. No. Nah, TV. Just, those TV. Just watch uh, those collections of only seen on TV stuff mm-hmm. are always just total winners. No, some of that shit works good. Yeah, like this bug flex assault. Seal. <laughs> it's bug, <laughs> bug assault. Flex seal. Flex seal. Flex seal works it. good. Does it? I mean, how many takes did it take? How many times did that screen door fucking boat sink? Right. <laughs> my my more, stuff that square, flex swears seal. by sw- Flex Seal. Really? Just puts it on everything? His He bought the, like, paint can and did his whole basement wall. Really? Yeah. Shit's waterproof now, dog. It's Fuck sealed it. up? Sealed it up. It ain't nothing it's like a dolphin's penetrating butt. Penetrating his perimeter. It's like a dolphin's butt. <laughs> Watertight. You got to watch, like, you know, you got to watch his reviews. You gotta read those reviews. Well, I mean, you're getting a as seen on TV screen coming in the, w- the mail this week. Yeah, you goddamn. Oh right. yeah, for the garage door. Yep, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. Moving on up. Moving on up. I'm balling now, guys. Now we got the. We're gonna. Have, we can open the garage and 
fucking have the screen going. And not die of smoke inhalation. Because it's real smoky in here. I could barely see you guys. Uh-huh. You're wearing sunglasses oh, yeah. in a dark room. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I like Always, to wear my sunglasses. Bro. I, You're that motherfucker at the club that everyone's looking at. Look at this fucking guy. I got sensitive eyes, okay? Is he famous or retarded? Last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaning towards retarded. Option two. Is he blind? Well, he just tripped over that bar stool, so he might be. That just means I'm setting the tone. Guys, slow down. I can't see. Take your fucking sunglasses off. We're well, inside. Well, that's like the, the meme. The guy's got his hat on backwards and his glasses on the brim, and he's doing the hand over the eyes. Yeah, because he can't see. Like, dude, turn your head around, you idiot. Put your glasses on. <laughs> it, what was the meme? It I like to wear like, my glasses. Jeff was wearing those wrong goofy glasses. It was like $45 hat, $250 sunglasses. Still doesn't know how the shit works. <laughs> <laughs> Some people just, you know, they're tough learners. <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's oh my image I got like the big daddy uh, thing going on like right now you guys can't see me because I'm invisible with my sunglasses on yeah unfortunately we can hear you but I'm so we fucking teased the other day we didn't even talk about it Pete Box <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bringing it out of left field because we always tease shit never talk about it so we started talking about Pete Fox. <laughs> Go Google it. Sean will post it on the Twitter. Yes. Yeah, What's our will. Twitter? Gentleman Den. All right, so we're going to post At this video. Gentleman Pete Box. Den. Basically, this guy does his beatboxing, and he's got a loop pedal. So he'll, like, beat for a little bit and then fucking loop it and then do another beat. It's fucking wild. Crazy. Love it. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, Worth a Google. To compose all that together, to do all the beats, and then he sings over it, and then and plays make the a guitar. whole fucking song. Dude, One dude, it's amazing, absolutely, absolutely mind blowing, mind bottling, bottling like your mind like in a your bottle. thoughts get trapped in your put it this mind way, like a bottle. You're gonna need to wear a helmet because it will blow your mind. Yeah, you don't want, yeah, but make, make sure you strap it. I hate when people you, you are wearing the helmet on bikes to make a and mess strap it when it blows your mind. I played it for my brother-in-law, who's the type of guy that's. Not impressed about anything. <laughs> and he's like, oh, that was pretty fucking cool. Yeah. I mean, he was pretty high at the time. but <laughs> it's, it's dope as fuck. It really is. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that he's, like you said, we've missed that we're like, oh, yeah, we'll talk about this next week. Coming up next week, a little teaser for you. And no one's fucking remembering how, how that. About, no. How about hoodie cleanup rag? <laughs> oh, the Del- yeah, I teased the Dells trip. Let's, let's just get all these teases out of the way. <laughs> so we go up to the Dells, and uh, only a couple of us went up early. And uh, <laughs> we drove our crotch rockets up, so only one person went up there with a car. So I was able to get my tent and the pillow. My bag with all my shit in it had to stay behind. I was like, whatever, I'll be fucking fine. So it's getting late, and... It starts getting, you know, colder. So I'm go. I'm like, where's my sweater? My buddy's like, yeah, you don't want to use that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I do. It's getting fucking cold. And where's my sweater? He's like, no, you really don't want to use that. <laughs> Basically, he went into my tent, <laughs> had sex with his girlfriend, and used my $40 Alpine <laughs> Star sweater as a nut rag. And then threw it into the fire. <laughs> to destroy the evidence. <laughs> destroy the evidence. Like, bro, this is why I wear Dago tees under my T-shirts. It's like an instant nut rag. It's like <laughs> you get a 30-pack for $5, all right? Fucking $40 Alpine Star sweater. Gone. In the fire. Nut it's so rag. funny because he loves burning stuff. He always burns clothes for some reason and, and other things. Anything. He's like, well, he, he comes over to your house for a bonfire. What do you got to burn? <laughs> You the, got any old shirts? We got the <laughs> we, we got the wood that's out there, man. That's yeah, where we got the wood, first. dude. Oh, that's fucking oh. hilarious. So, so you're up there now. You just no no hoodie. You got so just I your had tent. my tent and a pillow, and that's it. And it's fucking freezing. <laughs> I had to sleep with my arms inside my fucking t-shirt, like the whole time. You motherfucker! <laughs> I'm so cold. I would have wore it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> crusted sleeve and all. I would have had this thing on. <laughs> Turn it inside out. Make sure there's nothing. Oh, on. Jesus. I wouldn't have cared. But who does this? <laughs> oh, here's a nice sweater. That's a true That's a true friend right oh, there. You sorry. I, I nutted on your belly here. Uh, yeah, that sweater right there is perfect. Yeah, she's going to have to just let it dry and scrape it off. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to have to tough it out. <laughs> it's not like that campsite doesn't have showers. Can oh. you just go run and take a quick shower? God, I love camping in the Dells. I love camping, camping anywhere. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm so excited for for this week of coming up. Car Lake, yeah, getting up early, starting to drink early, just day drinking. It's so rough. No day naps drinking. in the afternoon. Oh, no naps. Just one. No naps. <laughs> you always want one. By like four <laughs> o'clock, you're like, you man. You just gotta get past that point, you know. <laughs> you can just keep drinking. Like, oh fuck, here comes well, the nap. In all honesty, I just gotta make it another hour, <laughs> and then I'll catch my second win. <laughs> when got my buzz back. Woo! When this podcast gets released, it's gonna be. You get, it's we will be, be fucked wild. up in Elkhart Lake. Oh, yeah, right Elkhart right Lake. Yeah. We will be twisted. We're even going up a day earlier than some other people, but, yeah, it's going to be a fucking blast. Big Bear's coming. Maybe. Dylon's coming. Big Bear's coming. Big Bear's coming. We said on the podcast, it's official now. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> We're going up the day so, early. You're so going excited. the day after with So Dylon. in two weeks, you'll hear me go, oh, yeah, how was Elkhart Lake? No. And we'll have all these stories to talk about, and you're just going to sit there with nothing to say because you didn't come. It's all right. Take your socks off. Yeah, just come. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you shut your dirty mouth. You are coming. Oh. <laughs> We're yeah. going to wait, too, a little bit, because there's some other shit we want to talk about on this podcast. <laughs> Stranger Things. We're going to give some people Ooh. some time to finish it. God. We should have already you know finished what? it already. Yeah. Here, how about this? I did. While you I guys, did for sure, right I away. won't go to Elkhart Lake, but I'll stay home and watch no, Stranger what? Things. That sounds what? like a horrible idea. Right now, you're just hurting you from last Stranger night. You can watch Stranger Things anytime. Sean slept on a floor. He was at, what's it, at like 4.30. He woke up a little bit of a uh, little hurt this morning for, for breakfast. He still looks like you all right? Yeah, I'm good. My f- <laughs> you I don't had, look all right. I had my an old ad- hips or I can <laughs> no, I had, forward like he's ready to yeah, just, <laughs> No, I had an allergy attack today. My eyes are all fucked up, so I'm <laughs> trying to. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, why does he keep falling asleep? I'm like, I'm not falling asleep. I can't open my eyes. Uh-huh. I've been dripping Visine in my eyes all day. <laughs> I'm allergic to cats and that. Fucking cat was in my face all night. <laughs> I kept putting the cat on his chest all night. Here, kitty, over here. <laughs> Come on, Chewy. Come here, bud. Chewy Where's Bowser? Long hair. Mama Cupcake was there. Oh, I had Mama them all. All of them were laid, all over your face. Yeah. And then I ended up sleeping on the floor. I wake up to fucking... <laughs> I'm like, get the fuck <laughs> off of me. <laughs> Frankie, seriously, why are you humming in my ear? That wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn cats! I hate. I, I, I like cats. I get the same thing though. I'm my eyes and cats are the worst though because you can call them like, "Oh, come here, I want to pet you right now." They're like, "Nah, nah. bruh." They're assholes. But then as soon as you're on, like on the table, like you know, getting ready to eat, or you're like filling out some paperwork, watching or a movie, trying to or... pay bills, they're just all over your shit, knocking all the bills off the fucking <laughs> table. You're trying to sleep, they're fucking <laughs> rubbing their some fucking my favorite tail in your face. My favorite Redwoods. was when we were doing three on threes. And Jeff, get out of here, cat! <laughs> <laughs> This cat's in my fucking face. Oh, Don't leave me alone. It's rubbing its face on my beard. Yes, yeah, so we're playing the fucking video games online. We got the headsets on like we're six years old. And all they keep hearing is, get the fuck out of here, cat. Get off of me. And then all of a sudden you just hear the rubbing against the microphone and purring. <laughs> Jeff in the background, get off of me, cat. Get off of me. The cat. <laughs> this cat just chewed up your headset. They were like, nah, oh, this yeah. is over. Yeah, the cats were trying to kill They're him. They're like, all right, all right wait until you're me. sleeping, bro. I'm going to chew, sh- chew your fucking headset up. <laughs> your, your one cat actually sleeps on the Xbox all the time. You'd be watching a movie and the thing fucking. Yeah, it's, if its ass is so fat, it falls off the Xbox <laughs> and it unplugs the fucking HDMI cable. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, he's, damn it, cat. But on a side note, God damn it, cat. didn't wake up today with any piss on the floor. 
No. Well, or good. yeah, I'm shit bagged as guys, we were. You guys actually urinated where you're supposed to. I was the proud of you too. The designated locations. <laughs> you guys are all kinds of. <laughs> yeah, the bathroom. You guys are all kinds of fucked up last night. So. Oh yeah, I was not trying to drive home. I woke up like a proud papa this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was sleeping on like the couch with the ottoman, and like it, it was kept sliding. It slid out, and I was like falling out of the middle. Ottoman's like, got wheels. <laughs> Well, yeah. you know, the first thing, of course, the, besides the cat purring, the first thing I hear this morning is Frankie dropping <laughs> ass for days. <laughs> it sounded like a Harley start, a cold start in a Harley. <laughs> was he awake or farting yeah. in his sleep? I was awake. He was. Sean was snoring, and all of a sudden he's like, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Woke me from the slumber. <laughs> Dude, I just that was my goal. Burns the nostrils. My goal was to wake him up. It's like smelling <laughs> salt. <laughs> Literally, we got up inside it just before four o'clock. Oh. Frankie's like, I can't fall asleep without anything on TV. He put on NCIS, and that was it. I was I, it like was literally the opening credits, and I was. <laughs> I, I probably was right there too. I, as soon as, as soon as the like, music or whatever, I was like, good. I already know who did this. <laughs> I could go to I've sleep. seen this one before. Yeah, well, like, I, I hate putting out a good movie or something. Then yeah, because like, then you want to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> you stay up, you're like, fuck, now it's 5.30. Goddamn birds are chirping. <laughs> I used to put on Snatch. Snatch was my movie to fall asleep to. Yeah, I did. I got so many of them. Congo was mine for a while. Dude, uh, to be honest, mine's always been pro wrestling. Yeah, pro that put wrestling. Me to sleep too. <laughs> pro wrestling. Like, if I'll put on a pay-per-view I've seen before. And I make it, like I said, opening yeah, credits. Yeah, you know he's going to win the match. I don't give a fuck. This guy wins. It's like watching a fight after it happens. Yo, so. man. Nah. Pro wrestling for me is like mumble rap for you. <laughs> See, I'm not <laughs> even going to get into it. I don't care. I don't care. You keep your wrestling. That's cool. It's fucking, dude. It's crazy, though, how big pro wrestling is. Yeah. it's Well, it's like it's, 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 it's male its soap operas. It's making its comeback again. Like mid-90s, early XFL's 2000s. XFL's coming back. Shit. <laughs> Bomb mid, jeans came like back. I said, Anything's possible. You know, mid nineties, early two thousands was all the attitude era was like the golden age they called it of wrestling. Whose attitude? It was when Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock <sighs> What a badass motherfucker. Look at those yeah. guys. Dude, some of those guys are like just still around. It's like, dude, the Undertaker, like how yeah. old is this dude? Like seventy? <laughs> it's like fifty six. Like still do they, fucking what do they up. pay these guys? These guys still have to wrestle in their seventies. Right. You should Fuck, be man. Their legend. bodies are all beat to shit. Like, yeah, it is fake, but these guys' bodies Still, are fucking destroyed. It's, it's not fake. It's predetermined. Predetermined, dude. Right, but fake. I mean, like, all the, you know, the the jumping and the, the bumps the, and shit. Yeah. yeah, no, dude, that's not fake. It's not fake. He really hits him. Huh? He really hits him. By bump, I mean when they fall flat on their back, yeah. asshole. Or like a fucking table full of. Tax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sean showed me Backyard a guy throw a stop. cinder block at another dude's head. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you missed that one. That that's one a dude from Mexico got arrested for attempted murder. He <laughs> threw a cinder block at a guy's head. Yeah. He was in the ring, the guy was outside the ring and he just over just chucked it off the back of this dude's head. I changed my statement. I could see why you like it. It's, it's fucking entertaining, bro. Uh, yeah. It's, it really is just a soap opera. Yeah, and basically, it's a soap opera for dudes. Yeah, for like real. chicks like the soap opera because it's. I mean, it's the same shit. You got like the side drama, and you got right, and you got your you got same characters. Action. You get to follow along with what's going to happen with Johnny today. Oh fuck! Now I got to watch next week. Ah, oh, next week. Dun dun dun. Longest running episodic show in history. All time. Monday Night Raw. Over two thousand episodes. See all that knowledge I was talking about. How long is the XFL going to last? One season. You think so? One season. What about Deuce? They do it right, man. One season. There's it's, so many athletes th- in the world. That th- the problem play. is is the NFL is such a monopoly. You know what I'd watch if they had like an actual, um, what the hell was that Adam Sandler movie where he goes to jail? Oh, Longest Yard? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'd watch. Convicts versus athletes. Cons and pros. I feel like that would be a really <laughs> bad idea if it really did happen. <laughs> but I'd watch it. If you win yeah. the game, oh, you God. get your freedom. If you lose, you what die. We, what, is this Gamer now? That was a good movie. Yeah, but that was like you were 
playing the actual guy. Yeah. The Ping, man. The Ping, bro. That was a fucking cool movie. Had I think time. I don't know if I've ever asked this on here, but what is your favorite football show of all time? Football show? Or like movie? 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 My favorite football show of all time is the NFL on Sundays. Okay, that's yeah. a good one. What about movie? Oh, man. Well, there's only... Like, story, I don't know. Like, I like Rudy. It's a good story. But that's more like a... I don't know. Like, football is kind of a side note. Yeah, that. it's just showing someone struggle to get to where yeah, they... Yeah, but it's a really to good hit fucking their goals. story. And Cause it, I, feel I tear like up at the end debate. every fucking time they talk about, you know, they carried him off the field. I'm like, oh. oh. Like... <laughs> Tearjerker. I liked any given Sunday. Right, that one I think is one of the greatest. I love the program too. The program, is I, sure. I like the original version of the program that before they took out where they were laying in the middle of the highway and having cars drive past them, and then kids tried it and got ran over in the nineties. Yeah, <laughs> see. But then you had like the spoof movies like Necessary Roughness. And right. Shit like the comebacks. That. Oh, the, the comebacks, comebacks, dude. Oh, someone's name was Scruffy. <laughs> <laughs> Scruffy was your dog when you were five. That's probably my favorite part. I literally die laughing every time I hear that line. This Baby's kid, crying. What's kid. that? That's your son. Yeah, Scruffy. <laughs> Worth a watch. Jeffrey. This, <laughs> someone's name was Scruffy. This kid just got hit by a bus and gets right back up. He's fine. Steps on a sunflower seed, blows his knee out. Just his name was ACL bent. tear. A seal Terry. A seal but he's Terry, like, no, bro. coach, it's a seal Terry. ACL tear, you're the best player we got. <laughs> I feel like you're going to jinx me, coach. <laughs> you keep calling me that. <laughs> no, that's a great one. That's a, that's a good comedy one. I mean, basketball, probably the greatest sports movie of all Dude, time, right? such a good movie. I, <laughs> I don't know. What about Debbie Does Dallas? I mean, she did dress up as a cheerleader. Yeah, true. I didn't see that one. I missed it. Basketball, yeah. though, I wish was a real game. I wish if that was a sport, I'd watch that. I really would. I mean, you could try. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Start a league, bro. I think I'd even watch, like, kickball, like beer in hand kickball. I know. I've been talking about this for years. We're going to play it. I'm waiting. We're going to play kickball, but it's beer in hand. Beer in hand. Open cup. Just to, you know, set the, uh, you know, raise the bar a little bit. Spills an automatic out. I still am a proponent of dodgeball. Beer in hand dodgeball? No, just dodgeball. I like beer on in hand ES, dodgeball. On I think ESPN 8, the Ocho. The Ocho. I think we do beer in hand dodgeball, and same rules apply. You spill a drop, you're out. You're fucking out. You're fucking out. Can I'll just chug the beer. Losers, losers got to do a double shot. Which just adds an element. I mean, kickball would be kind of easy. Like, you have two hands to catch the ball, to throw the ball. But if you got a beer in your hand, right, you, got and a you only got one arm to fucking catch and throw. It's gonna be a little. It's rough to kick a ball when you got a beer in your hand. I will kick the shit. Nah, out you of just—that's the thing, though. You just gotta kind of stand and give it a good woof, because you can't run a lot. So it's you not like hoof it in her front butt. And mm. twist her dirty, <laughs> dirty pills so she runs away screaming. <laughs> Trying to steal your seed. <laughs> My precious seed. Oh man. Easy, honey. See, learning channel defense moves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! I would totally be down to do that though. We we need we need to orchestrate that in the summer. This summer still, we'll have to. Maybe we'll get some of our listeners to join. Right? If we, if we get a anyone good down group. for a beer in hand kickball tournament, hit us up on hit Twitter. Up. We'll we'll put out a we'll put out a post and a link to it, and just kind of uh, you know comment if you're in, and and we'll set up a place somewhere close. I mean, there's actually like a park right behind your house, so beautiful. We can do it at everything's Legion. by my house. Fireworks bar. Country Thunder, <laughs> kickball field. I mean, you live I got in the middle of here. nowhere. I got it all here, boys. Live in the middle of nowhere, but everything's <laughs> right there. Everything I need. That's fucking Bar, hilarious. fireworks. Hey, they got good food, too. Bar, fireworks, and a gas station. That's all you need to That's live. That's all I need. What else is there? Dollar stores about a couple minutes away. Yeah, bro. You got it all. I don't think there's anything in there under a dollar. That's false advertisement. No, you don't. It's, do just, it's dollar general, so it's generally a dollar. Generally, see that pack of gum? It's two ninety five. Fuck a dollar store. You gave me a good fucking gumball around here for fucking under a dollar. <laughs> Bullshit. So we talked about it two podcasts ago. We went and got the chicken and rice soup. Ooh. Oh, we did. It's so fucking good. It yeah. was good, and she gave us plenty. Plenty of rolls. And crackers. 
We literally looked like oh we just got off of a fucking <laughs> <laughs> off of a pirate boat that <laughs> just went in there. It was, no one talked. It was just the sounds of <laughs> enjoyment. Just, it was just the sound <laughs> of s- s- the spoon hitting dipping. the ball and splashing. All I do is dip. <laughs> Dip just, my bread and crackers in the my only soup. thing that upset it's me, like this always upsets me, when I order like an appetizer or a soup or a salad, and then here comes my fucking meal. It's like, no, no, no. I wanted to enjoy this appetizer. How you know, many times have though, time have you finished the appetizer and it didn't come and you're Don't like, care. Fuck. At least I got the appetizer. And now I'm like, I'm somewhat satisfied. Yeah, because we always sit, though, and talk and bullshit for a long time anyway, so... Hence Doesn't the reason really why we're doing a podcast now. That was the last <laughs> time. That was funny. We went. We go to fucking Chili's, and uh, I don't like making fe- people feel stupid. You know, like I, I'll just I'll be the one who feels dumb. Like if someone forgets to put something on my burger, I'll just be like, they fucked up. I still eat it. I'm not the type of person that goes back to the counter. Where's the ketchup, bitch? You know, I don't fucking care. So this guy comes to the table, and he doesn't give me a straw with my drink. And I want to fucking slam it, and I can't slam it because there's so much ice in it, you know. It's hitting my teeth. It's cold. <laughs> I want to get this done. <laughs> Very sensitive teeth. So the guy keeps walking around. I'm like, fuck. I look at the bar. I see a bunch of straws at the bar. I'm like, I'm all right. I'm going to grab one. But I don't want this guy to see it because I don't want to make him feel stupid that he forgot to give me a straw. Instead of just asking him for it, he wouldn't have cared. Like, oh, sorry, here's your straw. But I'm like, all right, fuck. So finally he goes around the corner. And I get up to get the straw, and as soon as I grab the straw, he's like, "Oh, did I forget your straw, bud? I'm sorry." <laughs> I'm like, "Fuck, nah, dude, we're cool. I just grabbed my own." I was fucking dying. He had this look on his face the whole time, just like, "Where's my straw?" I'm waiting. Like he was just waiting for his time. Like I could see, like he was wheels were turning, and he was plotting something. Well, that was today with Frankie and his milk. Yeah. Yeah. Wanted his milk. I always order. Can I have a milk you with the meal? Always order. Can I get my milk with the meal? They never, never remember. remember. So you know what some now, of the good ones do? Now, when they bring they your food to the well. table, just say, can I get my milk now, please? M- ma'am, can I please have my milk? I know. I'm Instead like, of being though. like, forgot my milk again. <laughs> Every time, they always no, forget my I, milk. It's usually at the end of the meal. They come back, and they're like, everything good? Can I get you guys anything else? I'm just like, yeah, that milk, please. Well, dude, they got a bunch of tables going on. Okay, your order's up. They bring it to your table. <laughs> Yeah. Like, they're not going to be like, oh, man, that guy's milk. I got I to gotta remember myself. I'm just thinking that they're going to. There's some good ones that do. And I always enjoy looking at Frankie as he's, as he's, like, halfway through his food. And he hasn't got his milk yet. <laughs> the, the look at his face just starts. Right. It he's just, like a prairie dog. He's popping out. <laughs> he's popping out of the booth. He starts, his head's going back he, and forth. He, he pops back down. Then he pops back up. He's like, all right, she's got to be bringing my milk any minute now. He, he starts <laughs> He starts looking sad. <laughs> it's just, it's just He's like, yeah, like, how is it, Frankie? It's good, but I really, I really wish want I had my milk. milk. I'm real thirsty. <laughs> no, that's one thing. I love my food. That's like, my, that's like fuel. That's your jam, dude. Your milk on the side. All I know is we carb loaded milk. like a motherfucker today. Yeah, two oh, baskets of bread loaded. and crackers. Well, the, the pile of wrappers. <laughs> Well, yeah, you ate every cracker out of the box except for the wheat thin. <laughs> it was the wheat ones. The uh, butter crackers, though, I ate every single one. There's literally like almost a foot high mound of fucking empty wrappers. She was on her game, though, because she brought us a basket full of like 10 rolls. Yeah. And then we didn't even ask. She comes back with another 10. Yeah. Like I said. On point. Except Be- my milk. Bella was the only one talking at breakfast or lunch this morning. Because we were seriously eating like starving a brunch. Was it a brunch? Yeah, bro lunch. Lunch, lunch, yeah. Bro lunch. Bro lunch. We were we were eating like starving boatmen. Just. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was so hungry last night at like four in the morning. I was like, I even asked, "Got any noodles?" I was about to like make ramen. I was starving. No, what did you ask for? You asked for something ridiculous, and I was like, "Bro, there's real food upstairs." <laughs> what are you even talking about? I don't know. Well, he was asking for chips or something. I, forgot I mean, he was so hungry, he wasn't even going to cook the ramen. He was no. just going to eat the brick <laughs> and sprinkle the powder all over it. The chicken and some powder. ramen chips. Oh. <laughs> ramen just chips and a that, Coke would have been fine at 4 a.m. Well, you realize, you know, his neighbor brought pizza over yesterday. That's still in the fridge down See, there. See, yeah, I was too, I was too messed up to leave this spot that's holding me this up This guy right moves now. in 
right across the way here, and he's like, oh, yeah, I, I make Lou Malnati's pizza. And I said, motherfucker, you're my <laughs> new best friend. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> you're making I'm eating. Um, so he brought over a couple of pizzas, and then, uh, yeah, he brought some pizza over yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. He was all kinds of sauce. He was fucking. He he he's walking his dog, stumbling around. <laughs> the dog's basically walking him. The the dog kept looking back at him. Like, and he goes, like, "Are we doing this or what?" He goes, "I'm at fifty percent capacity." Uh, <laughs> the dog the dog literally kept looking back at him, like, "Motherfucker, can we? Can you not step on my tail when we're walking?" And then I'm like looking around. I'm like, "Man, it's fucking like." 11. <laughs> <laughs> it was still early. In the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we weren't even. That was my around. motivation to start yesterday. I was like, all right. And then he's like, I got to go back in because I could barely stand. <laughs> and then he cracks a course like <laughs> on his way out. Just. <laughs> uh, but hey, I don't, I don't want to say shit. I don't want to upset him. Right he's bringing me pies. You know what I'm saying? He's bringing me pizza. that, that Lou Malnati. You, you over. never piss off your drug dealer. No. Nope. Right. Right, it's best and I, I didn't even pissing off my pizza supplier. No, and, and Jeff's drug is the Lou Malnati's pizza. <laughs> God damn, it's my drug of God choice. Damn right, <laughs> drug of choice, boys. Uh, pizza forever. If I could eat one food every fucking day for the rest of my life, it'd be pizza. Pizza, yeah. Mm-hmm. The only thing is, it'd be like really acidic. Your stomach would be fucked. I think I could do like steak. Oh yeah. You give me a fillet every day. Yeah, you fucking balling out of control or what? I mean, if I'm on an island, I'm only getting one meal. Steak, bro. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not eating steaks, no bro. Salisbury steak. Well, you don't want a burger patty drenched in gravy? <laughs> nope, I am out. And like, and never have, never s- will. Somehow the gravy is brown yet clear. <laughs> like yeah, I don't know how that works out. Like it gets split. Ugh. I want nothing to do with it. Oh, they're delicious. Little mashed potatoes. Fuck yeah. Hammer down time. Fuck yeah. Well, we always, you always have that one family member that brings some wild shit to like Thanksgiving. <laughs> that everyone, <laughs> like, you know, you know, this aunt is bringing this dish and no, no one's, one's going to fucking it. eat it. <laughs> no one's touching it. There's going to be one spoonful out of it because yeah. someone was she, just being, she took uh, it out. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, they bring She doesn't some even shit. eat it. <laughs> <laughs> They're but, like, how are the dumplings? Phenomenal. <laughs> like, me coming from a Southside Polak family, they used to do the fucking. Pig feet and Jello thing. Oh, God. It looked. Like it, it's the color of. What did you just say? <laughs> it's it's a pol- pig feet and Jello. It's mixed together. It's it's a Jello mold. There's a Jello mold with pig's feet in it. With pig feet, it it but it looks like lime Jello. Mm. And w- I'm gonna be sober and pig. <laughs> yeah, I think one of my siblings was like, "Oh, is that lime Jello?" I go, "No, <laughs> it's not lime." It's a Jell-O. pig's foot. Technically, yes, but it's. You don't want none of this. I, I don't understand how to explain it. Like, everything else is always good. Who thought that was a good idea? To put a pig's foot that's in Jello. My That is my fucking grand, great-grandparents' shit. Yeah, don't be bringing that dish over to my house if we're ever having a gathering. I don't even want chunks of fruit in my Jello. <laughs> right. No, just no, give just me jello. the Jello. Yeah. You, guys, you guys don't know how to live. I don't. I don't. That's one thing I don't do is mix my fucking food. Like if there's cereals. if there's corn and mashed potatoes, that corn is not entering my mashed potatoes. See, it's separated. I'll put corn and mashed potatoes together all day long. Yeah, I'll do I that too. I just, I just want it. Or I like stuffing and mashed potatoes, and like take, mix it with a bite of each. Don't like, you dare! Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not as picky as you. It's not that I'm picky. I just don't want it mashed. No, together. you are fucking picky. Chicken strips. There's some shit I don't like. I I like I like lemonade, but don't don't give me the pulp. <laughs> or what is it? The orange juice. I don't want the pulp in there. I just want the juice. Are you, are you I don't a, want chunks. And you don't no. do pink lemonade either, do you? Oh, I do. Yeah. You, you do pink lemonade? Not with, not with chunks no, in it. No, I don't like solids in my liquids at all. Even yogurt. If there's chunks of fruit in my yogurt, I'm, I'm out. out. <laughs> Fuck off. I don't, I don't get it. I, it's what? delicious. You it's, like it's, chunks in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> You hey, like just, because, your... just because your ex-boyfriend was named Chunks and he was in your mouth all the time. Oh, Jesus. Cement mixers, His name guys. was Chunks? Cement. What about cement mixers? Ugh, I can't believe you do those. <laughs> I really yeah, can't. Yeah, I won't have chunky shit in my yogurt, but I'll do a cement, I'll do a mixer. cement mixer. I'll do lime. Which, if you don't lime, know what a cement is mixer Bailey's. is, Bailey's and lime juice. And, and it, it curdles in your mouth to a solid. 
and then you suck it down. <laughs> and Jeff it's loves bread. them. You know what? You well, know what? I don't know if Hold I on. love it, but I'll order it and do it just to watch the other, other person, person do it. With, and be, okay. He fucking, this one guy literally puked it up all over the pool <laughs> table at this bar. How what many the times have we done it? What did you give me? <laughs> we go out, and I feel like whenever you, you see someone that comes out for the 21st, and you're like, oh, hey, it's your birthday? Let me get you a shot. Let me get you a shot. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Cement mixer. I've, Cement uh, mixer. you never I've, done one? I've always walked away when he buys them. Oh, I think I'm it's like, the funniest thing. I'm not watching someone fucking try to chew down this loaf of Bailey's bread that's going to be in their mouth. It's just not natural what happens. And once you, once you put it in your mouth, what happens to it? It just curdles. Yeah, like cottage cheese. it's gross. You know what's awesome? When we were in the Dells for the bachelor party, oh. and that one morning we got up super early, we ended up going to the water park, and we drank almost an entire bottle of XO, right? Patron XO, ca- the cafe or whatever. Oh, yeah. And then you mix it with Bailey's and baby rum chata. Guinnesses. You were doing baby Guinnesses with rum chata. Yeah. No, it was Bailey's and rum chata, and it was Cinnamon Toast Crunch it was called. It literally tastes well, like... Oh, yeah, Bailey's a rum chata, but not Cafe Patron. Yeah, but it was XO yeah. Patron. XO Patron, Bailey's, and, and rum chata. Rum chata. And, and it's it called Cinnamon Nose Crunch. We literally almost had a full bottle. We we finished that bottle yeah, at like, how, the, yeah, the, at like the 8 a.m. Co- the coffee flavor should negate a lot of that. It doesn't. Dude, we're, we're going to make that for the, one of the shows next. Uh, I'll buy a bottle of that. So we finished this bottle at 8 a.m., and... After we finished the bottle, the great because we wanted to get fucked up. It tasted it's, it's so, so good. We just ended up getting fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I think we actually had that with breakfast. So it was a win-win. And then as soon as we got done with the bottle, you know what we did? Went down to the liquor store, and bought another bottle. <laughs> went back to the house, drank that bottle, and then went to the water park. And I've never been to the water park yeah, at the Calhoun. Because you were hanging out with some Wisconsinites, bro. <laughs> Dude, it was. I was fucking wasted. And we're, it's like 10 a.m., and we're going to this water park, and Jeff's like, oh, bro, they got this ride here. It's like you, you stand in this tube, and the fucking floor drops out from under you, and you free fall and then land in a slide and fucking shoot down this huge slide. I'm like, I'm thinking he's fucking with it's me fucking, the whole time. No, I'm like, bro, you stand in this tube, you put your back on the wall, you put your feet, there's like markers for your feet, and then you hear like a beep, beep beep and then the floor just opens up and you just shoot straight down i did not <laughs> believe him I'm, I'm like uh and he's like we're doing it bro we're doing it and i'm like all right we'll do it and i'm just like going along with them we actually walk in there and he's, there's this big tower and these stairs you climb up to and he's like there it is and i'm like you're fucking serious <laughs> i'm like no Bro, I'm not the worst gonna lie. part is the walk. The walk up and then <laughs> the you're walk like, of shame if you don't want to do it. This thing is so fucking high up. It's you're tired by the by time, time you get the to the top. top. And, and luckily, there's a little bit of a line, so you can kind of catch your breath. <laughs> <laughs> you, but still, the whole time, but you're, I like, freaking like out. Pussy. Like, the first time I did it, I think I was the least scared. And then every time after that, I was more and more scared because you know you're you just going to... You expect now. <laughs> you know it's coming. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, it's a fucking crazy feeling when then you, you start free fall. Those beeps. Yeah. You're like, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They make you take, like, all your chains and jewelry off and shit and... I all, mean, your chains. <laughs> all your chains. All my chains. I'm you, Italian, fucking, bro. You got two a donkey chains. rope around your neck. I got two chains <laughs> on water park. I got two chains. <laughs> all times. Well, oh, jewelry. We're in an hour, boys. Already? Bro. No. Yeah. Didn't even finish my drink. <laughs> Look at him now. He's just chugging. <laughs> so. Do I don't have a straw. You guys are giving me a straw. <laughs> we try to save the turtles on this podcast. <laughs> Ah, fuck them. Nope. How dare you. So, with that being said, this comes to another end. Elkhart Lake recap coming soon. Oh, yeah. Not next week, but the week after. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to drink extra just for you guys. Well, you know what? Jeff will be doing some Snapchats. So, if you follow Jeff, I don't know. What is You don't even know what your Snapchat is. I don't know what my Snapchat is. I don't even know what my Twitter is. Great. Mogwai Gremlin or something. (laughs) Who the fuck knows? Don't give me shots after midnight. You know, it's... (laughs) 
I my back gets sore from carrying the social media aspects of our podcast. You love it. You stop it. You love that shit. We're gonna get better, bro. Yeah, it takes time. I'm not I just gonna like be. I don't like going on social media. Yeah, I'm not gonna be a social right, well, this butterfly. Is number nine. Boom. It's hard to get on social media when I'm fucking deep in the YouTube vortex. All right. <laughs> you should be putting out product on the fucking YouTube. Balls deep, <laughs> learning facts about Demolition Man and shit. Yeah, and Steven hand Seagal over and <laughs> and <laughs> Van Dam. Yeah, so that was the original cast of Demolition Man. Instead of Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes, it was going to be Steven Seagal, Jean-Claude Goddamn. There was a chance that Jackie Chan was going to be in place of uh, Wesley Snipes Ooh, instead, see, too. See, this is the information you're going to learn on this podcast. Learning channel. Right? Uh, yes. What did you guys learn to bit today about uh, flamingos? Ooh, they, they dye pink from eating the shrimp. Yeah, flamingos yeah, they're not aren't really pink. actually pink. They're white. And the food that they eat turns them pink. See? Learning channel. Knowledge. This, is, this isn't this is TLC. This is TGD, son. The Gentleman's Den. Yeah. We're not the right. Learning Channel. We're the Gentleman's Den. Yeah. This should be in category. Love all of you. Channels. Thank you for listening. Yep. Another episode in the books. We Another will... Butch Dixon ad coming soon, <laughs> just to let everyone know. Yeah. <laughs> His, the first, he already the emailed first us again. So he good. said he's got something else brewing. Texas <laughs> entrepreneur <laughs> coming in hot. And if you haven't went out there yet, don't forget to pick up some hard dicks and cider. <laughs> that's right. The cider, that's hard. All, All right, right. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go kill some more flies with this bug. So. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good day. See you guys next week. Yeah, ladies. Peace.